So now that we know that, we can calculate the pH if we know concentrations and determine if it's uh, acidic or basic. So let's try out example 15.3, shall we? <laughs> no, there's no, there's very little considering in this, I think, our considerations. We could, I mean, if you want. No. Consider the temperature of the solution, 25. Let's calculate the pH of each solution and indicate whether a solution is acidic or basic. Or neutral, it could be neutral. Come on, Tro. Give us some suspense. All right, so let's do A. A would probably be the easiest. All right, so our new handy-dandy equation is pH equals negative log of the hydronium. So pH equals negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. And the log really doesn't translate for the units, so that just comes out unitless. 3.7? Yep, all right, so 3.7. So is this uh, acidic, basic, or neutral? Acidic, it is acidic. All right, now let's do uh, B. Okay, so we got a hydroxide concentration, and we want to find the pH. So far, the only equation we have for pH is pH equals negative log of hydronium. We don't have the hydronium for this. We have the hydroxide. But we have the KW. We do. So we have the KW right here. So we know the hydroxide, so we could solve for hydronium. That's one way to do it. I actually do it a slightly different way, so I'll show you that way. That way, that way is perfectly good and dandy, dandy I even say, but here's what I do. I rearrange this equation, okay, to solve for pH and pOH, okay? So here's my pOH, negative log of the hydroxide. So here's what I've got so far. I've got 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals hydronium times the hydroxide. All right, I want to solve for it as pH and uh, for pH, okay? And so since pH is the negative log of hydronium, let's do that. Let's take the negative log of both sides. Negative log of both sides. Yes? What's that? So I want us to rearrange this equation to solve for pH. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what's the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to negative 14? 14. That was the x squared, so we took that. So yeah, negative log of 1.0 times 10 to negative 14 is 14. Now negative log of hydronium times the hydroxide that doesn't tell me much, that's not pH. Negative log of hydronium's pH, right? So I need to separate hydronium and hydroxide. And for that, I just need to remember a couple log rules. Remember our log rules from whenever we used log rules, whatever class that was, okay? So I remember, okay, that the product of a log is the same as the sum of the log of those values. So the log of x times y is the same as log of x plus log of y. So I can separate that. I can separate that as negative log of hydronium plus the negative log of hydroxide. To separate hydronium and hydroxide. And so now I've got 14 equals negative log of hydronium. What's that called? pH, right? <coughs> pH is negative log of hydro plus negative log of hydroxide. What else could we call that? pOH right here. So pOH. And so now I've got this equation in terms of pH, and I ran out of room, so I'm going to have to move it over here. And so I can say pH equals 14 minus pOH. 
And that is why I did all that work, and you guys are so happy I did it. See, aren't you glad I did all that work for you? Okay, and so that is what we need. pH equals 4T minus the pOH. Mm -hmm. Well, that, we're just going to use that. Now we can go back and look at B. Okay, I got hydroxide. So here's how I solve this problem. I got the hydroxide. First, I calculate pOH. pOH equals negative log of the hydroxide. That equals negative log of 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2. And so what do I get for my pOH? See, I didn't just want to bust out this equation, pH 14 minus pOH, and not tell you where it comes from. You guys wanted to see it derived. You're like, I don't believe you. That's what you would have said if I would have just told you pH equals 14 minus pOH. <coughs> Prove it, you would have said. 1.9? What's that? You don't think anybody would have said that? I might have actually showed you. Do we like that? 1.9? Not a fan? What else we get? 1.9? Okay. All right, so that's our pOH. And if we were living in a pOH world, that'd be enough. But no, we have to live in a pH world. Okay? So pH is usually the go to. Uh, determination of acidic or basicity. So pH equals 14 minus pOH. Again, aren't we glad we went through that equation, derivation? 14 minus 1.9. And so what's my pH? 12.1? Well, that 14 would be exact. Don't worry, Don't worry about that. So 12.1. Is it acid or acidic or basic? Or neutral? Basic. Basic. Can't catch you.